Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is an absolute disaster of a kitchen and you wouldn't believe that all I did was make macaroni and cheese. So today I'm just going to do a quick clean of my kitchen. As you can see there is just a mess everywhere. I get it nice and organized, tidied up and just make myself feel a bit better that I've got somewhere clean to prepare dinner a bit later. Hope you enjoy! I came to see what was in the dishwasher and oh no, it's still clean. I've got to do that as well. Look at all the dirty dishes. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness, there's even crisps on the floor. Oh well, time to get tackling. First, I'm just going to unload the dishwasher so that I've got a blank canvas to uh, start cleaning my kitchen and putting things away. This is probably the one chore in the kitchen that I absolutely hate is unloading the dishwasher. I don't mind loading it up and getting things sorted that way and just clearing my counters off. It's just unloading the dishwasher I absolutely hate doing. Uh, so as you can see I'm just trying to fit everything in. I didn't realise how many dishes there were until I started loading the dishwasher but I had a full packed load that I needed to get on so once I'd finished loading it I just stuck it on and came back in a couple of hours to wash dried and yep my turn to unload it again I went on Google to find a foolproof cheese um, recipe, cheese sauce recipe. I found one, but I didn't realise that it made so much. It, don't get me wrong, it was absolutely delicious. I've never put mustard in a cheese sauce before, but that was absolutely delicious. But we had it for two nights running afterwards, um, cheese sauce, so it was really good. I'm just wiping down my stick blender, which I've always used a whisk, and this uh, recipe suggested I use a stick blender. And it really made a difference on the sauce. Um, wipe that down, changing out the kitchen towel. Um, I've just used the e-cloth whiz to wipe that down. Just using my e-cloth pad now just to give the uh, Pyrex dish a bit of a once over because we had a pasta bake the night before. Um, so obviously I made too much pasta with the intention of making mac and cheese. But yeah, that was proper stuck to my pan. Um, but with the e-cloth scrub pad there it worked a treat to absolutely make them gleam on the inside the barkeeper's friend i just used that on the bottom of my pans because these pans that i got from kirkland they are good but they just leave marks at the bottom like with the pasta marks or rice marks or something so i just give that to give it a bit of um put the barkeeper's friend in with my scrub pad and it just makes the pans come up a little bit more sparkly and keeps them looking fresh and new.
I had a load of paintbrushes to wash out because we did the seasons using hand prints. Um, it's actually come up really, really sweet. Uh, just a bit of schoolwork. Um, then I'm going to use my scrub pad. It's slightly damp on the stove top. It is very well caked in um, the white sauce, cheese sauce. So I'm just going to wet that and then put some Barkeeper's Friend with a wet sponge. Uh, it didn't take much elbow grease to get it off. It was just the, the stovetop was slightly a bit warm. So I was just trying to get it off as quick as possible before it properly, you know, cooked and got caked onto the stovetop. But it came off really easily, as you can see. And it gave a lovely sparkle. And I went over it with my kitchen e cloth and then the buffing cloth after. <laughs> just moving on to wiping down all my surfaces with the uh, kitchen cloth the cloth kitchen cloth um just move everything out the way there's bits of flour and uh, just bits of dirt everywhere so i'm just going to give that a quick once over as i say it brings up my counters really really well my countertops are wrapped with a dx or dc fix um and it just keeps them sparkling and looking so fresh with the e-cloths i love my e cloth I was struggling here to lift my marble. It is so heavy. I use my marble for my hot pans and that, and also for chopping vegetables, particularly on there and making sandwiches. Um, so the marble's really heavy, and about once a week, I like to stick them in the dishwasher just for a bit of a deeper clean. But my e cloths generally bring them up really clean, and then antibacterial as well with just water. <music> Now onto my trusty Dyson V10. I bought this refurbished from Dyson themselves about six months to a year ago now. I absolutely love it. I hate being tied to the wall with a cord. This um, has brilliant suction power and gets all the bits up off my hard floors. I don't know how I survived without a stick vacuum in the past. <music> Now out with my e-cloth mop, just wetting it, wringing it out, stick it on the floor, stick the mop handle onto it and off I go. And it also does a fantastic job on my floors. It's really um, got a good like friction to it. So it's quite, you can feel it like pulling down into the floor. So it really gets all the bits up and it's really effortless. <laughs> 